winos. We got 10 seconds before we go ahead and get shit started. We got a special guest tonight. You wonder why the hey. hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down. Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying yeah, the show. Y'all better be here in the wine glass for me because I can't drink. But my guest can. <laughs> Hold on, Tony. Let me make sure that we live and in color on the channel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And we are. We really are. Okay. Now, um, we got a special guest tonight. It's been a long time coming. I don't know if you guys are like day one fans. Oh, let me turn this off. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if you guys are day one fans, okay? But the day ones know that me and Tony had uh, some words online. I don't know if, I don't even know if Tony remembers that her and I had words online, okay? But before I bring Mrs. Tokyo Tony in, I do have to pay the bills, okay? Tony, give me one second. I got to give my sponsors a shout out, okay? They keep us paid over here, so we ain't got to beg for no money. We got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass to run that See, PGA. I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once. And the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. To all of you Dr. Sebi followers, I've got something for y'all. Discover the untold story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book titled My Journey with Dr. Sebi. Visit www.myjourneywithdrsebi.com to place your order and receive a free copy of the audiobook with over four hours of exclusive content. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. All right, okay. So we are going to now formally introduce, okay, Tokyo Tony. The mother of a black China, she is now here for the first time, okay, since her and I had exchanged some pretty, uh, you know, disrespectful words online. Okay, welcome guys, Tokyo Tony, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Tasha, how are oh, you? Oh, your sound, what happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm here. <laughs> Can you say something? It was the sound was just working. It's weird. Hold on, guys. Hold on. What'd you say? No, I still can't. Can you hear me? Hold on, guys. Hold on. We just had it. Hello, hello. hello okay, hello. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's going on, Tony? <laughs> Hi, Tasha K. How are you? I'm fantastic. Now, Tony, I'm I'm excited to talk to you. Good. Me too. Oh, oh you got you got some wine. What you what you drinking? What what what, what? A little Stella a little Stella Rose. I, I'm a little wine on now, girl. Okay. <laughs> now Tony, do you remember when you came for me and called me? I think I think you started the Woody Woodpecker stuff. Oh, oh, Tasha, don't give me that. Yeah, don't you give, know I you was talking. Give me that beat? You did. You 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 started that Woody Woodpecker shit, and I cut it off because of you. <laughs> oh shit! I'm, I apologize, Tasha. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, it's okay. But no, I remember. Um, it was when I first got started. It was maybe like my fourth video online, and I was talking about, um, uh, I guess you waking up and. You had like thirty dollars to your name, and you went off, and then I, and then you saw my video, and you posted it. You was like, "You Woody Woodpecker bitch, don't you ever!" And I was like, "Ooh!" And then I clapped back, and then it was it was over. It was done. And this, this that, is, that sounds like 
That sounds like it's about right. That sounds yeah. like my crazy. <laughs> you look good, yeah. though. Thank you so much for so uh, much. for joining us. And so um, I wanted uh, to, I guess, talk about the interview that I did with Treasure this weekend in L.A. Oh, okay. This, okay. Yeah, yeah. But first, okay, because I know you got some stuff you want to get off your chest. No, go ahead, baby. You I sure? got nothing but time. Okay. I got nothing but time. Okay, so Treasure and I spoke. No, we didn't tell anybody about it until I dropped the uh, teaser online. Um, and, you know, her and China have uh, fallen out. And they are pretty much, I'm talking about, like, you know, I would say teenage friends. They met when they were teenagers. And no, they didn't. They did. Oh, well, she said that she met her at the strip club. Like, China was, like, 19 and she was 20 or something. China was a grown woman at 21, but go ahead. Okay. Well, when her and I talked, you know, and I asked, I said, well, you know, why, why is it, seeing, being that you're so close to, well, you were close to China and Tony. I said, well, do you feel that Tony is jealous of t China? And she said, yes. Hmm. What do you think about that? Um, I think that's absolutely ludicrous. First of all, that's my child. I can't be jealous of something that I created, help bring her to where she is today. Okay. That's impossible. That's literally impossible. I wouldn't be the mama bear I am to be jealous of my child. Not at all. Okay. Shay, what can we do to fix the sound? Is it okay? It's good? Okay, perfect. All right. I just want to make sure everybody can... Uh... Okay, cool. Um, so why is it that I guess you find yourself calling out China all the time online. Well, this is it. It's, it's not about calling her out. It's about vindication. Okay. It's about clearing, it's about clearing your name. Okay. See, let me break this down to you, Tasha. What happens when some people go into Hollywood, they forget, I don't, I'm going to use proper words. They forget where the hell they came from. See, my daughter has went into Hollywood and totally forgot who she is, where she came from, who I am, who her family is, or anybody else. Now, Treasure has met my daughter at the club. Just think about it. That's the club. Everybody is the same, doing the same thing, on the same mission in the club. Treasure never, ever, ever came to me and asked me one question about me and my daughter. Treasure has been to my house. Treasure has taken showers at my house, slept in my house before, even though it was on one occasion. Um, even to this day, me and Treasure are perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, today we spoke through the DM and cleaned and cleared everything up. Okay, now let's continue. My daughter has used me up so bad, so bad for so many years, but being so who I am, a real chill chick, I just took, I just took it. I wasn't going to stomp out her flame or, or stop her from doing anything that she ever wanted to do in Hollywood. But one thing you must <laughs> remember and forget your mother. I've never asked her for anything and I still don't ask for any, for any, although you should, because this is a common decent thing to do if you are a millionaire. However, I'm a hustler, bona fide. She got everything from me, from her colors of her car, to the color of her furniture, to her style, to her lingo, to her wanting to whoop a at and everything. The treasure is the one that is the friend where you go and y'all suck mm together, y'all go meet men together, y'all go do this. That's a friend. That's what you do with your little friend. Now, as you can clearly see, they were never really friends because if they were, friendship can't break up over a conversation or over a whack ass uh, act. Okay. Now, with my daughter, she's very manipulative, absolutely gorgeous, and those two things together creates an atomic bomb. Anytime you are high in this game, and the next person is still in the game, but not as high as you, they're more believable. And because I am a outspoken person, upfront and keep it real, it may come off as a little harsh, 
as a little raunchy and a little raw because it is. I know my child, I know how to handle her. See, when they become rich and famous like that, it's nothing you can do. It's like, oh, mommy can't tell me to sit down now. Mommy can't say, oh, you're not gonna do that or you're not gonna do this. Second of all, if this young lady treasure at that time was her true friend, when I was crying out on the internet, something I'm not gonna do, especially shed a tear, um, do all these things to get my daughter to come to the fold because her phone was always black with me. So if this was Treasure's true friend and now you say that she was on drugs, alcohol, pills, cocaine, all of these things, why would you still be her friend, quote unquote, without helping her, without pulling somebody to the side and saying, well, we know Tokyo is cool as shit. She gonna go ahead and whatever, whatever. If she would have told me, look, don't tell that I said anything, I would have addressed it. Now that the money is cut off, everything is cut back, now it's all of this and all of that. But where was all of this when I was begging, asking why is she saying these things? Why is she lying? I don't understand. This girl was raised well. This girl had her own bathroom. This girl lived, I mean, my daughter lived good growing up spoiled rotten i'm talking spoiled rotten to the cord however when i saw that she had the buffament on her tushy i hate to say it but buffy oh buffy saved my life why no more stress was i had good sleep i'm getting even getting fat and got a good and that's because I know what it is now. I went to my, I, I went to uh, uh, California to clean up that whole house and literally, literally clean it through prayer, literally cleaning it with a rag, soap, and a mop, literally, and cleaning the people the hell up out of it. See, when I saw what was going on from the outside and then I went in the inside, it wasn't quite like what I thought, okay? I thought my daughter was all crazy and this, that, and the third. And she's not to them. She's just crazy to me. Why? Because I will expose her to the point that you can't, see, Treasure and them don't know nobody. They don't know her family. They don't know her friends. They, they don't know anybody. My daughter has never brought her aunt my bro I have nine brothers, four sisters. Never brought any of them to California. Nobody ever knows about them. Only thing they knows about is Treasure and her employees. Because if I bring, if if my daughter gave me a little bit of spotlight, just a little bit, not to point to say, well, here, mommy, take this. This is yours. Go. No, I I have my own fishing rod. Let me go fish. Just show me what sea to go to because you're in position see for your own child not to do that should leave big questions when you have been spoiled all your life given everything you ever wanted literally literally it's absolutely crazy then like i said i wonder so long was it was it this young lady treasure was it jamal who was it because whoever it was i was literally really ready to put it in rumble the men the women didn't matter let's get it and i had some back with me because i was down for it it wasn't a game it wasn't a joke that day at the park and when the cameras cut i came back for some more but ain't nobody want now okay now as far as treasure's concerned the day she told me that i heard her feelings online i apologize and she also said to me that she realized that it was my daughter playing everybody against each other again like i said if i wasn't to talk or say anything people would believe that angela has no family that she went on angela martinez show and said she took out trash at 10 for wow wow hold on give me a minute it it, it sounds like you know Wait a minute, Tasha. Okay. Trash at okay. 10 years old. 
where we live in a high rise building where a child as beautiful as my little angel would knock on somebody's door and take their nasty fuck boy trash, excuse me, trash out with condoms, liquor bottles, anything in it for what? For what? That is absolutely ridiculous. This whole thing has been a lie the whole time just so that she can get into Hollywood and have that same story as the rappers. Oh, they really lived in the suburbs but act like they was in the hood hustling. No, my daughter also got people believing that she lived with everybody and my mother raised her. That a lie. That's what Treasure said. That's she a- said that you didn't, you didn't raise her and you know, that's the reason why you and her um, clash a lot because she had to take care of herself and she also had to financially take care of you. Oh my God, Tasha, this is me, Tokyo Tony, speaking to you live and in broad color. That's a total lie. These are the things that obviously my daughter told her. My daughter never took care of me. Why would she take care of me and I've been married all my life, hustling and married? It don't make sense. Second of all, my daughter, when she went to Miami, she met the boy, got pregnant, rolled out to California. That was a no-no in the beginning. Why didn't you go to Miami? Nobody in the family heard from her ever again. That's a lie. Is that the reason why you didn't go to Miami? And on that show, on on that that reality show, Tasha, I said to her in her face five times, no, excuse me, seven different times, prove it. What, What did this, your grandmother do for you? What did you do for me? It's a lie. She went into Hollywood with a lie and she's just rolling with it and her friend treasure she told these things to that has never talked to me never met nobody in my family none of that that's absolutely ludicrous i mean even looking at the person i am today it doesn't dictate what that says at all and if we had such a bad relationship let's ask this how is the dynamics between the two of us so fantastic when nobody's around why is it that Larry, Densia, and all the rest of her boyfriends always, they all know, because when I'm in LA, guess what they say to me? All of them, Jamal, everybody. She says, mom, tell them all my stories when I was a child. I tell them all her childhood stories, this, that, and the third. It's a lie talk. She's a liar. It's sad. She needs some mental help. It's obvious. And it is what it is. Mm. It is what it is. And and poor treasure. I mean, for her to um to make such wild accusations, let's talk about her real. Okay. Well, let okay. me show let me show you that I'm a total good bitch. Let's mm-hmm. get this shit straight. Watch this. Let me sit my motherfucking wine. Excuse me for a minute. Okay. Put, that Hold on. Put that motherfucking wine down. I just did. Hold on. First of all, Treasure and my daughter. When I first met Treasure, she came into my daughter's house. They were pissy drunk, young lady leaving the club, and she told me she was pregnant. Mm. She wanted to get an abortion. (coughs) I convinced her to keep her child. Mm. She kept the child. Next, we're in Los Angeles, California, with my daughter pregnant and all her friends, Amber Rose, all of them around hanging chilling. Treasure gets a motherfucking phone call, pass out on the floor, screaming, hollering, kicking, throwing up. Nobody really giving a fuck for real. What's going on, Treasure? My baby daddy just got shot in the back. Ah! Okay, answer this. Who was there for her? Me. Me. I pardoned her. I got on the phone with the people, the ambulance people. I put her in the bed. I pray with her. I put covers on, under her. Her ain't had pillow under her head. She woke up. I made her ass something to eat. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I mean, Don't she said that me. you had never came to Miami to see China and that hurt her. When um, China moved excuse from me. Uh, to go to school. That's she- a, that, that's a, that's, that's, first of all, <laughs> Oh, well, half of this shit is in my book, so I don't want to say too, too much, 
But I will say this right here. Well, my, me not coming to Miami, was that my fault? Is it called, it's called pushing away. It don't have nothing to do with me. Trust me, it has nothing to do with me, with me not going there with her, okay? Anything she do, she do it because it's a, it's a motive, it's an agenda. She only, my daughter only calls me when she needs me, it's clear. It's freaking clear. Because if I pulled up receipts, it would fucking ruin her life. That's what I'll say. But because I'm her mama, I wouldn't be able to live with myself with that. Let me try to tell you this. Her magazine layout, oh, I write the motherfucker. And I got the proof. Ma, can you do this magazine? Can you write something for Cosmopolitan? Here recently, oh, I got the proof. Somebody did her motherfucker bio. She read it and it was like, mom, send it to me. Ma, hook it up, because she knows I'm a hell of a right. I hooked it up, sent it back. Oh, yeah. She tells me about everything she's doing, but never includes. But I get it. I get it. It was all a setup from the beginning. Trust and believe me. From the time Tiger whooped that ass and sent that motherfucking ass to motherfucking Mexico to get that eye tacked up. And I flew my ass down there, knocked on that motherfucking door. Everybody shocked. Everybody shocked. What's up? See, let me tell you, all that she's told this young lady treasure, that is just, I, you know what, Tasha? I can't really even explain that. I just find it to be very weird, very cool. But let me and ask to you, be let honest. Me, but let me ask you a go, question. Go ahead. Because China, I don't think she's ever spoke on the domestic violence between her and Tyga. I do know in Treasure's interview, Treasure mentions a little bit about it. And we're going to premiere that on Patreon on Thursday night first until I can get it vetted legally. But um, and so if anybody wants to see it, patreon.com forward slash. Well, okay. me, but the, the domestic violence up. as a mom, though, I like I have a daughter. I don't think that I could tell the world that a man beat her ass. First of all, that's not what the fuck happened. Let's start there. Okay. She was okay. on his back talking shit, pulling on him, yanking on him, pulling on him. And he took his arm to swing to say, get the fuck back. His elbow hit her face, bust her face open. That's the truth. Okay. And okay. that's all the motherfucking domestic violence. That man ain't never touched that woman. Tiger is like, I don't even know why his name Tiger. It should be kitten. He don't say shit. He chill all day and eat motherfucking noodles around the house. Period. Well, I mean, you know, That's when Treasure and I talked, she said that Tiger did put China out of the house with their baby. Locked, like, well, literally threw her out. Well, let's say this. Let's say this. Guess what? Sometimes shit happens. <laughs> Sometimes shit happens. But what caused the ultimate breakdown between you and China? But because she, before she moved to Miami, she wasn't really famous. She was famous around the strip circus. She was, you know, traveling. Baby, let, let me. What caused let that me break breakdown? Down. Let me tell you something. It wasn't no breakdown until after she got to, to L.A. and started doing her thing. See, before then, I'm an independent woman. I'm not the kind of chick that's going to sit around and wait for somebody to call me all day. Okay, she's a mama's girl. She called all day. Everybody knows this except the fans and the public. All day to the point I'm like, oh God, she's calling me again. It's like that. Okay, trust and believe that. Well, when she went to Miami, keep in mind, I mean, uh, uh, Miami is, is a non-factor. Because that whole Miami shit, all that was Tokyo. All that because you just left me. You just left DC Strip Club Pumpkin. So you went down with my whole protege. You used to wear big hoop earrings. Go look at the goddamn pictures and videos. You used to do everything just like your mama. You mimic your mama because that's who the fuck was around. Because you wasn't around my mama. She was eclectic. She had two bedrooms with three sons living with her until the day she died. So I love to know where the fuck my daughter say she slept at. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Now, as far as something else is concerned my daughter has a big fucking problem and i just recently realized and could say it out my mouth straight up and down without having any um 
real feelings about it, but she's the jealous one for sure. And when I approached her about it, she had very little to say. I asked her, oh, and I have to tape it. I'm about to play it. Oh God. Um, I asked, I asked her, you know, why would you lie on me all this time? Why would you tell the world that I didn't take care of you at this? The treasure is a non-factor. Mind you, her motherfucking ass still talking, bro. You been gone a year ago, my nigga. Go ahead. Because you don't know what you talk about. She don't know nobody in China's family. So in order to take a, a, a something like that and run with it, I want to meet the uncle to come somebody to hear something. So China, you the only child. Who was you ever around? You ain't seen nobody in her family yet. Not one person. Let me break it down, Tosh. My daughter used to get into so much shit, Tosh, to the point her ass was on her way to jail when she went to Miami. I had to get her ass out of trouble, okay? Fighting, I don't know about treasure shit, but my daughter fought four police officers. Just so happened, I used to go to school with two of them and hollered at one of them when we got there. So they said, we won't, we won't even press charges, uh, Tony. We didn't know that was your baby. We're gonna let it go. But guess what? She still had to do community service. She still had to pay them fines. Okay? She and my nephew. I've been with China. I raised three other children. That's the funny fuck part. And you're about to hear it in a minute whenever you're ready. I raised China, little Sean, that's my brother's kids, Ariana, and big Sean. Those three children are my brother. Even though he was a little deadbeat dad, but they got an aunt. I raised them. So why is it that my nieces and nephews contact me, call me damn near every day? She don't. And I'm saying all these things to her on this tape. And all she says is, sorry. Why you lie on me? Sorry. Why are you jealous of me? You're jealous of me. Why? But I'll tell you why. That upbeat spirit, the magnet to the people. It don't take me to do nothing. Uh, 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 five seconds. It's done. Organized. Everything. Hum I mean, humanitarian. Just everything. Every everything. My daughter, I also have sponsored her when she started her lab. Guess who did it? I did. I did, baby. I got on my fucking two feet. I got the videos and the proof to this day. Oh, my God. I didn't know everything for this girl. Everything. Everything. But, but it seems like I she's backed never her really up. I backed her up any any adventures. I, I mean, I, I, I'm scared to death of flying, Tasha. I would drive from here to Hawaii if I could, okay? I don't fuck with no airplanes. I catch these flights to go see her and my babies. No, I get off the plane. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm, it's, it's real bad, okay? But yet, what did I do? I got on a fucking jet with her to go with her to go all the way to Nevada where the people wanted me to run the club, okay? Michelle, which is Nikki Baby's mom. Okay. The niggas that okay. own, the, the white boys that own the club, the one that all the bitches go to right now okay. in Los Angeles, I was about to run that shit. His name is Sean, okay? With the car, the this, the that, that was my shit. But okay. guess what? I changed my mind. The moment I changed my mind, that means I'm not coming to LA doing all that shit. I'm not fucking with all these hoes and they problems and issues telling me they got abortions and their baby daddy fighting them. I, I just wasn't in the mood for that shit. Although the job was good, the money was damn good, 15,000 per week, I still turned that shit down, okay? My daughter has always treated me this way ever since Tiger. Why? Because she wanted to fit into that Hollywood thing so that nobody would know she had this great life. I still don't understand how you do that. But all of that, she even told him things that was not true, which he knows now is not, okay? But to hear her say, I'm sorry, but I'm not really sorry. And then on this tape, she's bipolar, something totally wrong, because all of a sudden she does this outburst you heard me you heard me and i'm like very calmly how did i hurt you you heard me okay tell me how you heard me tell me how she can't say see 
this is the thing that they do. This is why nobody's around my kid. I couldn't understand why. I don't understand why. I, I, that part, them, them being users and things of that nature, that's on them, like literally. But I'm your mother. I'm a mama bear. Even when she was dogging me and throwing me under the bus, I went for the Kardashian. She calls me. I don't give a fuck if I'm calling them bitches or calling them names and shit. When she called me, I get them. So every time y'all see me getting them, cause she told me something and I got it there. I'm not mad at Kylie. I'm not mad at Kim. I'm not mad at none of them because they ain't doing a goddamn thing to me. But the only person I don't fuck with is, Hor is the other bitch, the OJ daughter. I don't deal with her. Wait a minute. Okay. You talking you tell about uh, uh, Chloe? Yeah, I don't deal with Chloe. Chloe, no, I'm going to whoop that ass when I see her. Oh, damn. But, no, that's on some real talk when I see her. Because I will one day. And that's for lying on dream. And that's why I was pissed at Angela. Because they allow a nanny to burn my grandbaby. But all these bitches are fighting each other. Why is this nanny not in jail? Why is this nanny not on TMZ? Wait, who she burned, burned who, dream who, not who, one who, time. Who, she burned her two times. Who burned And the, the mother, the father. The grandmother, none of them said nothing. They never said nothing. The nanny ain't getting no charges. Is this the same nanny that told Rob that China be doing drugs and stuff and letting, you know, teach them no, how to dance? Rob, oh, no, this, no, this is Rob's nanny, darling, because it's the Kardashian's nanny. It would never be told. But if that, but if that shit happened with Angela, it would be all over the place. Child protective services be there grabbing the baby. See, but this is what they do in Hollywood. The moment I saw that Baphomet Tasha, I was like, "Ooh, where's my wine?" Because I figured it out. You didn't sold out. You've been sold out. I never heard this girl sing a goddamn song in a house day in life. Little girls normally do dance routines. My niece did it, but she didn't do it. I never heard this girl sing a damn song like. La, 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 la. Never. Now you rapping. Come on now, that Baphomet, that Illuminati shit. You're all with it. You're all with it. And like I said, the motherfuckers ever want to come for me? Come on, bitch. Because when they made one, they made two. When they made two, they made four. Let's do it. <coughs> Let's do it. Hurry. Secondly, secondly, for me, my daughter is so envious. Let me tell you what she do, Tosh. I have a 25% uh, part in a company called Misha's Lingerie. Now, Misha's Lingerie is like that, okay? For real, and this ain't no damn promo either, okay? Because I don't need to, I said 25%, not 100. So, so China goes and gets Fashion Nova to send her all this lingerie all the stuff. I got the proof. I said, China, I got CBD line with all this she said, oh, that's fine. Let's fly. Oh, you look good when I showed her my picture, my promo picture for everything. That look good. What she do? Go get some CBD shit. Oh, wow. Okay, China. Well, I do this tea thing with TLC. Come on, join in. Okay, great, mom. She joined. A couple of her friends joined. Soon as shit don't go right with her, what she do? Drop it, cut it, let it go. She never posted for me for Zeus. I have that proof too. Zeus like, God damn it, she's drunk. Tell a girl, wake up and post. I'm like, this y'all job. This y'all job. See, she's done so much to me that right now I'm, I'm not numb anymore, but I'm not begging. But I will if she don't do it. And I gave her a deadline of next month. Allow me to come to L.A., see them babies, or, or FaceTime, because then I'm going to take her ass to court. Because I'm a hell of a grandmother. When I'm in Los Angeles, California, that family is eating. You see family moves. You see us with the babies at the at the at the, the King's basketball game, his his soccer. Okay. You see family oriented things. You see the dog. You see us running. You see a whole bunch of wonderful things. See? But do you when, feel like when they are excuse me? Do you feel like China, the reason y'all have such a, uh, uh, you know, y'all are, I guess, at wits. Is it's because the devil. It's the devil. Or period. maybe y'all are just alike. No, we're nothing alike. She mimicked me just like Mickey Minaj did. 
just like Cardi B and any motherfucking body else do. Mimic me. Okay? But it's only one of me. Let's try that. On well, the back. There's two of you because China is your baby. And, and no, I, could, I, I, would, of, I would look at it as flattery. It's one right? of me and it's one of her in which we're two individuals on two different paths, not of love, but of every day. Are you proud of okay. are you proud of your daughter for everything that she's accomplished? No, I'm not. I'm saddened by it because I know why she received it. She could have received the same things without doing the things she's done by hurting people, by hurting her nannies, by hurting her friends, by embarrassing her family, by hurting her mother. So to accomplish all of these things and to have all that put on the line, no, I'm not. But on the other side of it, I'm very proud that she has the things that she has, that she don't have to struggle, that she don't have to sell ass, that she ain't got to go strip. So on that tip, oh, I'm mama proud, baby. But mama. How, how do you think that makes her feel hearing her mom say that, you know, on one hand she's proud, but on the other hand she's not. So it's kind of like a backwards compliment. It's not a backwards anything. It's straight up. Like I said, and I'll repeat, the other side, one side, no, because I know it's the goddamn devil. It's the Bachman. It's the Illuminati and all the rest. It's not no new story. This ain't no new true I, Hollywood I, story. I, I, I'm just living. Okay, Tasha? Okay? Okay. No, 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 no. And the other side, because you don't want your daughter selling no ass or having to be with a whole bunch of niggas. And, and she's smart and can do her thing. That part, of course, because I put that in her. I still did it in her. Okay? Tasha, let me tell you something, baby. Let's okay. go back a little bit. Let's go back. My daughter's so goddamn fucked up. <coughs> let me tell you right now. She's okay. the shit out of me. At the age of four, 15, she meets some little boy. Let me tell you something. She come to me, knock on the door. Mama, I mean, a girl, I'm going to hear about that stopping. We, we, we on education. We on this, on that. We on this. Okay, you bring it back again. Oh, shit, here we go. Make a long story short, because it's in my book. I let the little boy come live with her. At 15, I let her boyfriend come live with her. However, we had strict rules, and I trusted her, and I trusted him. She, her room was in the back, mine was in the middle. We had a creepy-ass kitchen floor. You got to creep through the floor to get to her room. So I said, I trust you, ain't nothing gonna happen. She, she, she fucked up in school. She got kicked out of school. I took her and got her put back in school, although it was an alternative school. Drove her from Maryland to D.C. Every day, picked her up so my daughter never touched a book. She don't know what a school book is. I, she don't know what that is. My daughter ain't never seen nothing but she's seen beautiful furniture. Range Rover, Mercedes, Benz, and Z's, because this is what I did. Why? Because I was a motherfucker, 10 toes down ass hole at the time. Let's say, can you say 11th and K? Okay? Let's not play no fucking game. After that, because it got old and got a little weary, I then went into the strip club. I kept all of this away from my daughter. I told her that I was a goddamn secretary in the day. And then I did security for the goddamn president at night because the limos was coming to get me. Okay? It's called escorting. I did all of these things. And then one particular day I got kidnapped. Tasha. Tasha. At a phone booth. Taken for three and a half hours. Brutally fucking raped but not beat. Set back out where the fuck he got me from. He took my purse, my phone, and I back then I had a next tail. Okay? And I went home, I gathered my child, and I moved the next day. This is when I moved to Southeast DC. This is the only time my daughter was in DC, honey. And she went there for six and a half months. After that six and a half months was up, pumpkin, we was back to where we was within the next building. My rent back then was thirteen hundred when she was a child. Okay, my daughter wanted for nothing. She's a habitual liar, and I'm glad my heart is sealed. It's sealed. It's sealed, honey. Can't no bullshit creep in it from nowhere. 
from nobody. The devil is a liar. God gonna always win. He gonna always win over anything and everything. She can take and play the games with the devil and the Lord all she wants. She's gonna lose every time. First of all, you're gonna lose me because I'm not dealing with the devil or nothing that he has. Honey, I don't want it. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I might smoke, cuss, talk shit, whoop a bitch ass, whoop a nigga ass. Oh, look it up, Tasha. They all go to press charges. It's all men. Merlin Judiciary Case Search. Go look at my fucking record. It says me whooping niggas' asses and niggas putting charges on me, dining on a motherfucking dining line. No bitches is up there. Okay? Because you're irrelevant, ho. And I don't fuck with them. I keep it moving because it will be a problem. Second of all, she didn't use me up so bad for this Zeus reality show that these motherfuckers still ain't paid me. They telling me now I got to wait 30 days for a $5,000 motherfucking check which is funny as shit to me. However, you put me on a Wii TV. I created Zeus. I made Zeus. I'm the one who went all around the country by myself. Fuck. I didn't have nobody hold my hand. I didn't need no media treatment. Did nobody have to sit down and say, oh, this, this is how you cross your leg. Oh, this is how you talk. I was on time every time. But Zeus was in My business. daughter never gave me nothing. She never gave me shit. Listen carefully. She gave me a car. That was bullshit. Guess why she gave me the car, Tasha? I just found this shit. Because <laughs> she was visiting her estranged father do going to a birthday party of one of his children. So she figured if I found that out, I was going to be out of this world. Mind you, she didn't come visit me, but she bought me a car. I pulled off with that car and did not talk to her for three and a half years after two months of having that car. Once she gave me that car and me and Robert Kardashian became just everything. That's my boo to this day. I don't give a fuck what they go. That's my boo. I talked to Rob Kardashian for seven hours every fucking day for a year. He didn't told me everything about his whole goddamn family. Every secret, every, it's so much. I, I, I just block it out my brain because I'm not no hot bitch. I'm not no snitch. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not telling on nobody. I'm not going to hurt nobody. But I'm going to tell the truth to, to vindicate me because I've been villainized but yet bullied by a 32-year-old girl and her friend, Zeus Network. Okay? Treasure is irrelevant. Like, I really am not angry with Treasure. I feel that because all she's doing is getting the information from a bad source. From a bad source. And well, she two, said that she actually. Had, let me let me jump in. She said that she actually witnessed ahead. China had went to jail before she went to Miami around Christmas, and you called yeah. looking for China, and she couldn't get you to China, and then finally she told you China's in jail, and she said that you immediately started begging for money, and then you told her on the phone that, and this is what she said you said to her, Treasure, that China ain't going to be shit, fuck you, these, these niggas going to fuck the shit out of you, like you just start cussing her out when she was in jail on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and she actually told me, she said, see what she going to say when, when I, when, ask her that and see what she's going to say. Tasha, first of all, <sighs> Picture my Angela in jail, and I say, "Fuck." I just want to. I want anybody in the right mind to say, it. "Okay." And then I would ask for money. Okay. Tasha, let me break it down. I've never had a hard time with money. Okay. I've always okay. been a hustler, motherfucker. You hear me? Around the clock, it may be five to six, seven different things and a job. Okay. Okay. So Treasure, I don't understand her point, but maybe people like her, and I'm not even gonna dig at her because she's so irrelevant, like really. Okay. You know, so what I'm gonna say to that is I'm gonna rebuke the devil through her, because that's a lie. She needs to stop spreading it. And hopefully she will today after the apology. Okay. That's that's a that's a bare face crazy ass. Lie. Why would I say good, get yeah, big? It don't even make sense. And why okay. would I call her phone? I don't I don't know your phone number, baby. And why would I call looking for China? And if she's locked up on Christmas, I would have one day said, oh, you know, one time China got locked up. Baby, no, Tasha, 
I'm so sorry. Oh, that's a fucking lie. Why would I, anybody want their child that did nothing to you in jail before you even went to Miami? Jesus Christ. This little lady is something else. She needs some help too, but obviously she's just a cloud chaser. Like I said, when I went to go whoop that ass, when I went to go whoop that ass, she ain't want none. She ain't want none of it. None of it. Second of all, second of all, a real friend, a real friend, honey, would, um, if my friend is on drugs, again, and this is what I said in the beginning, my friend is on drugs, we've been friends for 12 years, that means I'm doing drugs with her. You're not going to just be doing drugs all that time. We best friends, and you ain't picked up a line, baby, just through conversation. I mean, she, she, talk, she talked about that. She, 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 okay, she but, kinda... but, but guess what? So therefore, so therefore, you both are on drugs. You both have major issues. This bitch don't have no mama, so you wouldn't understand what a mama and daughter relationship is. It's not for your motherfucking face. Period. Okay? You running behind a bitch and you got angry to this day because she didn't post some pussy shit. Okay? That don't even make sense. You mad and then you saying best. See, so that's some other shit. Now that my daughter has, like I said, my problem is me, the devil, and God. That's our problem. That's my whole problem. Fuck what? anything before, because what? mind you, mind you, what Tosh? I was just gonna ask, like, I mean, at the end of the day, China's your baby, and she's your only baby. Yeah, your absolutely. only baby. And I gotta tell yep. you, you know, it, it's hurtful when you feel like your mom doesn't support what you do. Now, I know we're not in the gist. I of that don't give a fuck. I'm not supporting shit, and it got all to do with the bottomment. Oh. Tasha, don't play no games with me on here, Tasha. Don't play no games, Tasha. Because if your daughter, son, came home with a bossman on their ass, lied on you, and you the fucking soul pussy, did the fucking everything in the world to make sure this motherfucker was straight, and they lied on you, and they got their friends lying on you, and then said, oh, hold on. <laughs> you know what, Tasha? I can't. Hold on. I can't. Okay. Hold one quick motherfucker. Hold on. Okay. Because I'm not doing this shit. Oh, no. Hold on. Two seconds. Let me find it. Got to sip this damn wine. Right. Here we go. Okay. I'm not playing no games. Either one of them. Here. Okay. okay. Hold on. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me say, it's very graphic. Okay. It's very graphic. Okay. I want you to know. All right, All right, here we go. It's very great. All right. It's rough. This is a message. It's me and the devil talking. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Don't you speak. 
Do you hear me? That's it. I'm done. I'm done. You don't have nothing to say for yourself. That, that's all you got to say? I do, bitch. No, I wouldn't do it literally, ho. Meaning, not literally, you dumbass bitch. Just like you were saying. Literally, you, you're an ignorant ass, retarded ass bitch, like Treasure said. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, bitch. You truly some shit. Come guzzling ass whore. God knows nothing, bitch. Don't put his name in your mouth. I will fuck. Bitch, don't speak about don't speak about my God. Don't do that. Don't yes, cause you worship Satan, bitch. What, what's what's your what's your religion? Is it Muslim? Or is it Christianity? Christianity? Christian? What's your religion? What's your religion, bitch? Right. Won't you say it? Oh, the devil won't let you say it? Yeah, my religion is Catholic. You, you're a weirdo. You high now. No, 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 no. You're a weirdo. <sighs> no, I'm a real bitch. Yeah, bitches wish I was their mother, bitch. While I'm stuck with your pussy ass. The fuck? Fuck the weirdo. Are you high now? Are you high? You just told me you wasn't getting high no more. You you high now? I never said that to you. Okay. You never said that, bitch. Bye. Never. You, you're like, mom, I don't get high anymore. No, I never said that to you. I can't trust you. You sure can, bitch. You a fucking I weirdo. Know. You know what? You a real dope head. I'm gonna get everybody in my family. I'm gonna do a fucking surviving Black China documentary, and I'm gonna get everybody in my family. Watch this. Wait on it, bitch. Cause you a demonic ass spirit, ho. It's almost and over, Tasha. I'm gonna fuck you good, and I'm gonna laugh, bitch. Hold up, it might get a little graphic, then it's gonna be over. When they come for your demonic ass, I'm gonna laugh. You hear me? Yeah, you're demonic. You're demonic. You're demonic. Yeah, you sold your soul, bitch. Good. For what? For exactly for two dollars. Two dollars, bitch. For two dollars, your dog. Where's Jenny? Where's anybody? Nobody stays around your petty ass. No, I like. But you'll take a dick in your mouth every other day, though, right? A dick in my mouth. Yeah, a new dick. Your son see you fucking and sucking new dick all the time, bitch. Like. No, that's facts, bitch. Every other month, you got a new dick in your face. But I'm the same bitch that looks out for you to make sure, you know what, it's good. Just know, I'm gone. Suck my dick, bitch. You're, you're a disrespectful ass, nothing ass hoe. Purry. 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 You're just disgusting. So know this, if I die today or tomorrow, I'm disgusted with you, bitch. No. Go to your, no, I'm going to grave. I know I'm stopping it. It's too much. Okay, I think it just stopped. I think the cuss just stopped. Okay. Tony. Hold on. Okay. All right. All right. This last little piece. Listen, here we go. Here we go. This last little piece. Okay. So you can see the weirdness. So you can see the weirdness. Wait a minute. Here we go. Should be over. Wow. It's about to be over two seconds. Let you go, Angela. Let me go. It's her response, and then it's over. Me. Hold up. Listen to her part.
up, yes. It's fine. But you want to see me suffer. Okay. Hold on. Honey, you need some fucking mental help. You need yeah, she, she, fucking she. and sucking new dick all the time, bitch. But anyway, it's plenty, plenty, plenty more. Her saying, yes, I'm jealous of your mother. Um, I don't hate you, but yeah. I mean, it's too much. But was, so she when being, I, was she being sarcastic, though, to kind of agree with you? Because you were like... No, it's no sarcastic when you're being called whores and, and the truth being brought to you, baby. No, it's called, I'm lit right now. I, you, I answered the phone when she called at the wrong time, and I'm calm. See, I didn't play her part where she flicked the flick off. See, I didn't play that part where she just went off out of nowhere. And they settled down in two seconds, like, oh, okay, I love you. See, real weird shit. So guess what? The bottom line to this thing is, and it's it's a it's a very bottom line. This is a spiritual warfare, Tasha. This is spiritual warfare, Tasha. But why would you wish death on your daughter? I didn't wish death on her. Where did you hear that? I heard that. You said you're dead to me. Yeah, dead. If I die tomorrow, tomorrow. That's ebonic, bitch. That's ebonic. It's called don't talk to me. But shit don't like that really happens, though, Tony. Like, this your only child. Who gives a fuck? Who, gives, really, a who fuck? gives a fuck? Like, that's your baby. Oh. I can listen. I'm a, I can, up. I'm a mom. I'm a fuck up. I am grown. I don't I'm give grown. a fuck what you are. Dude, I'm I don't grown. give a fuck. Listen, Tasha. But that's your daughter. No, bitch. Listen. You're not listening. I, am I don't listening. give a fuck who. No, my daughter is not there. You're not listening. So you must be a part of that motherfucking Illuminati shit too, what? bitch. Because you're not. But you're the you mother. You're the mother. You know and that. I'm you know that people mother. go. You know through. You know that people go through shit. You know that people go through shit. Through. You it went ain't through that shit. much going through shit in the world. It ain't that what? much going through shit in the mother world for you to throw your mother under the bus, lie, put a boss mitt on your ass, 
and do all the wrong shit. But if she's she under the influence, no. if she's under the influence of drugs and alcohol, and you say that you are well, dealing with a spirit, well, that's not what I was told. Well, that's not what I was told, and that's not what I was told, and that's not what I was told. But so you just said that just she does that. drugs, sweetie. I didn't say she do drugs. You didn't you, hear me say that. Tony, Get your shit together, Tony, Tony, Tony. You didn't hear me say she do drugs, Tony. I said you I told wish I me, can. bitch. You was hot. I told okay. this is what the fuck I said. Okay. No, won't you shut up and listen? Okay. What the fuck I said was, Angie, you told me you was getting high, bitch. Is what you heard me say. And she okay, said, listen. I didn't tell you that. Listen, I'm being very respectful. I'm being my mouth. I'm being very respectful towards you. You don't have to tell me to shut the fuck up. I'm listening Guess to what, you. Tasha? But Guess listen. what, Tasha? I'm, I'm over you, bitch. I'm okay. over you. I don't want to hear this shit no more. Okay. Goodbye. Good night, All right. Dear. Goodbye. Just don't All tell right, me goodbye, to shut dear. the fuck up. You, no you're a fucking loser. We can have a conversation with our cousin and each other. Enjoy your night because you're a part of that shit too, bitch. A part of what? So I, I disagree you with you. Awesome. I disagree with you. And now I'm no, a part of the Illuminati. You're putting shit in my mouth. I bitch. didn't put shit in your mouth. I'm listening to you. you. I'm listening to you you're record your daughter, dog her out, and tell her that you're dead no, to me while she is suffering from drugs and alcohol. Like, really? No, that's not what I said. That's what Would you, you said. You listen again? Do you want to listen again? I couldn't imagine what the being fuck her. I, I could not you? imagine oh. being your daughter trying to actually but, have a conversation with you. She no, fucked that's up. Not the conversation. That's she, me calling her. Okay. No, no but you she fucked what you're up. Talking about. But that's your only living no, blood. She, she might wasn't fucked up. She said she wasn't. I said she probably okay. was because she told me. That's not what the fuck. But I have never listen. Heart. I have never heard China record you and put you on the internet. I have I never a, heard I'm China do dog I'm you. Do I'm gonna do it. That's the only motherfucking way it's gonna get out. Why? I'm gonna do it, and I did it. Why? What That's, about you not get? Are you with this shit? Yeah, no, Let's talk about you. Talking about, am I with it, Tony? Listen, Let's listen. About you, bitch. Listen, I'm on neither Let's one of y'all side. I'm talking. I'm talking, I'm mom. Me, me, I am talking, me, mom to no, mom right you're now. Not listening. I am you're listening to you. I just listened to you the entire show. I just listened to you the entire show. I uh, let you have. I let you have the entire show. You ain't it's my turn. Yes, I did. It's my turn now. This is my motherfucking show. This is my motherfucking show. This is my turn. I am not Black China. Okay. I am not your fucking daughter. I'm Tasha K. She's gone. The fuck? Yes. All right, we gotta pay the bills. To all of you Dr. Sebi followers, I've got something for y'all. Discover the untold story of one of the most important healers of our time in Abelardo Guerrero Jr.'s book titled My Journey with Dr. Sebi. Visit www.myjourneywithdrsebi.com to place your order and receive a free copy of the audiobook with over four hours of exclusive content. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. See, I enjoy oral sex, but to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. I just don't understand. How is it that I allow you the entire show to talk? But as soon as I disagree with your delivery, with your words, all of a sudden I'm a part of what? I'm a part of them. I don't even fucking know them, okay? I don't run with Neil Kardashian. I don't run with Black China. But as a mother, let me tell you something. You got to be careful what you wish for, okay? She brought this child in. Okay, this child has a replica of her name. Black China, Tokyo Tony. Hold on. <coughs> Tokyo Tony. Obviously, she looks up to you. Obviously, she has built her whole life to mimic you. Isn't that enough? 
Just because you have a child, that child don't owe you shit. Tony is very entitled. That's what I got from this entire conversation. Tony is very entitled, and she feels that it's Black China's responsibility to not take care of her mother. We don't have kids for them to take care of us. We hope they do, but that's not their fucking job. And before you go out, and before you say, oh, I brought you into this world and you're dead to me, you're a mother. You got the power to wish something bad on her. Now, she is going through some shit. That's what she's going through. You went through your shit, Tony. But I see what this is. If you're not right, if you're not right, nobody's right. And it's probably where she got her personality from. She learned from the best. But for a mom to get out here and trash her own motherfucking daughter, I don't condone that shit. The recording was it for me. If she probably would have never played the recording, I would have let Tony just have it. I would have said, you know what? Thank you for coming on. I'm not in a relationship. But you recorded your daughter to profit for motherfucking views to push your bipolar ass narrative. Now, I really hope that they can get it together. But dealing with somebody, how, how was a narcissist going to call another bitch that she raised to be a narcissist? Where the fuck they do that at? How do you expect to get through to somebody you, you fucking raised to be just like you? And now you mad because she's just like you and she made that shit work and she became a millionaire? Now get the fuck out of here, okay? Listen, I'm going to drop this interview with Treasure tomorrow night on Patreon. I'm still trying to get it legally vetted, okay? It's over there. It'll premiere. What is it? Thursday night? Tomorrow's Wednesday, right? So we premiering this, what, what night, Shaq? Th Thursday on Patreon, okay? And y'all can hear what Treasure had to say, because Treasure did give a very non-biased view of Tony and Black China's relationship, although she don't even fuck with Black China like that. And she held Tony fucking accountable. Now I gotta go. I'm out. Bye, y'all. I'm fucking pissed. I'm